Windows Server Update Services, or more commonly known as WSUS. Commonly, you're gonna have a whole range of Windows clients, Windows laptops, Windows desktops. You're also gonna have a whole bunch of servers out on your network, and all of these other Microsoft products. And you are now responsible for making sure that all of this is patched. So that's where WSUS makes this whole process very, very easy. What happens is it downloads these updates onto the WSUS server. All of the computers out on your network talk to WSUS. And then you tell the WSUS server, you want these updates to be pushed out to these computers, go for it. We're now we're gonna go and set up and configure WSUS. I'm running a Windows Server 2019 server. This server is connected to my domain. It's connected to a domain controller on a Windows Server 2019 domain controller. It's all connected on the network and all working well. Now, we're assuming that your Windows Server is bound to Active Directory. It's already talking to AD and everything there looks good and that the WSUS server also needs access out to the internet. Now it needs access out to the internet to be able to actually go and download the updates. So you wanna make sure that that is done first, that it's got access to the internet and that it's bound to Active Directory and it's all working from that perspective. So the first thing you wanna now do is now that we've logged into our Windows server, is we now need to go and install the actual role for WSUS. Go and open up our server manager right here. This is the, the application that is used to actually go and configure and install uh, roles and features and other things all on a Windows server. Now what we need to do is we need to go into the manage area up the top right hand corner. You see that manage is listed right here and we wanna select add roles and features. Here is an introduction around what this uh, wizard actually does. We can select next. We're gonna select role-based or feature-based installation. So we're gonna select next. We now need to select, well, what server do you need to actually do this on? You'll see that it now actually shows me that it's WSUS is the name of my server.demodomain.com and then the IP address of my WSUS server. You need to make sure that you note that because later on, you're gonna to need to go and configure this when you are setting up the group policies and everything else that gets your clients, your Windows computers, your Windows server computers, your servers talking to WSUS. You will need to take note of that. We select next. Now from within here, we scroll down all the way down to the bottom. And the very last option is Windows Server Update Services. This is what we need to go and select. So we're gonna tick that. And by default, it says that add features that are required for Windows Server Update Services. Add feature, great, it's tick that. It's tick web server that you'll see right there and everything else has sort of remained as is. So we can now select next, predetermine that this is what we needed. And you see that's also ticked some other things in here automatically for us, which is excellent. We now select on next. Things to note, at least one WSUS server in a network must be able to download updates from Microsoft Update, which is what we've just said. So this server needs to be out on the internet. So we select next. Here's what's gonna be happening. So what's gonna happen right here is you need a space to actually go and download all of your updates onto your server. So you need to have a place to store all of that. And I've already got a large 5.85 terabyte hard drive connected to this server. So I'm just gonna select in here that it's gonna go into E drive slash WSUS. It's gonna download hundreds and hundreds of updates from the internet. So they need to be stored somewhere. E drive WSUS, next, and select next. Here is the role services to install with IIS because IIS essentially will convert this server into a web server. There's a lot of other things that you can actually install such as other de dev, other languages, things like that. Okay, but we leave all that as the default. Next, we can now see a summary and now we say install. And then once it's done, we'll then go and open up WSUS. You should now be able to go into the start menu and into Windows Administrative Tools and you will have Windows Server Update Services. Here is my WSUS server. It's now ready to go, but it's not really doing anything because I haven't created what's called a group policy to point computers to it. Now, what you need to do is you need to go into the group policy section 
on a domain controller. And you actually have to create a group policy to actually configure all your computers out on your network to communicate with your WSUS server. We've got our Active Directory. Let's just expand this. We've got our Active Directory section right here. And that is our demo domain.com. That is our domain itself. And our um, WSUS server is bound to the domain. So talking to our domain controller. And here it is right here. And then we've got a folder structure made up of OUs and things of that nature. In our group policy manager, you'll see that it's broken down very similarly. Here is our domain. You'll see that you've actually got some OUs listed in here. What I need to now do is create a new group policy. All right, so I create a group policy to allow my servers, my computers to communicate to my WSUS server. So what I'm gonna do is under the Australia OU, okay, which is where I've got my computers and my servers listed, I'm gonna right click on here and actually say, create a GPO. Okay, I'm gonna call it WSUS Reg. WSUS underscore Reg is the name of the group policy, but it's not doing anything yet. But you'll see that it's now, it actually sits underneath the Australia OU. Now I need to go and actually edit this group policy and give it the necessary information to get the computers and the servers that are sitting under Australia OU to communicate with WSUS. I'm gonna right click and say edit. This is going to open up the actual group policy object editor. We're going to go to computers right here. Let's just make this a little bit bigger. And we're gonna expand the section here called policies. We're gonna then expand administrative templates, Windows components, and then scroll all the way down. Here is Windows update. As you can see, there's a lot of different options available on here, but we're only concerned around WSUS. We're gonna show you just the basics, just to get it started, just to get your computer, your server registering with WSUS. So the first one that we're gonna look at is configure automatic updates. So right click on it and go into properties. And in here, we're gonna now say enabled. You now need to set what the rule is. Say okay. At the moment, all that's gonna do now is automate the automatic update section. It's not talking to WSUS yet. We now need to specify our WSUS server. Under this section right here, which is specify intranet Microsoft update service location. Put in the address of our WSUS server and then the relevant port. So that is the full address of my WSUS server. I'm gonna copy that and I'm just gonna paste it in here as well. Hey, one more thing. We've just skinned the surface here when it comes to WSUS. We've shown you the basics on how to get it installed and running. But now, if you wanna get the most out of it, if you wanna get computers, servers patched, you wanna learn about scheduling, you wanna learn about approving, declining patches, in the link below, click on that, you'll have access to hours worth of content that I've created around WSUS, the basics to the more advanced features. So you as a WSUS admin, I definitely know you'll find it helpful, so check it out. Do what you need to do on the social medias by liking, commenting, and subscribing, and also check out some of my other videos so that you don't miss out on all things tech.